You're watching Friday Night Live on KRVC. Well, it might be a really good season for our schools in Class 2A football. Five big country schools start the year ranked in a top 20 in Division 1 and Division 2. Here's a look at what Texas Football Magazine says is going to happen this season. I'm with Abilene High head coach Delvian Cox. Coach Cox, you had a lot of um, question marks going into the scrimmage. Do you feel like some of those questions were answered oh, today? Oh yeah, no doubt. I mean, that's when you start going against live bullets. Nope, that was <laughs> Abilene High. Um, but I'll just tell you what's going to happen. Uh, Delion is ranked pretty high up in that um, in Class 2A uh, in. Um, uh, they're going to be ranked fourth in the state, followed by Stanford at 12th. In District 3 2A, they have three big country schools in Stanford, Holly, and Winters, who are set to compete with Forsan and Ozona. After winning districts last year and making it to the second round of the playoffs, Stanford is projected as one of the magazine's five dark horses and expected to finish at the top of the district. High expectations have been set for quarterback Peyton Bevel out of Stanford, who was listed as the district's preseason offensive MVP. Now, after graduating one of the top quarterbacks in the big country last year, the Holly Bearcats will have Dylan Frazier replace Quay Stokes under center. Frazier is also listed as the preseason defensive MVP for the district. Now they are slated to finish second in the district. Winners is picked to be the last playoff team uh, following Ozona. Forsan is not expected to make the postseason. In District 7-2A, the DeLeon Bearcats are expected to be the district champs once again, led by the district's preseason offensive MVP in Kevin Yeager. The quarterback looks to improve upon his incredible 2017 season, where he threw for over three thousand yards with 43 touchdowns. Defensively, the Bearcats will be led by defensive lineman Kellen Hodges, who is listed as the uh, district's preseason defensive MVP. Crawford and Heiko are predicted to finish second and third in the district. The Goldthwaite Eagles are picked to be the final team to make it to the playoffs in the district. San Saba and Valley Mills are picked to miss the playoffs. 2A Division II features two more teams projected to be in the top 20 in the state. The Albany Lions come in at fifth, while the Monday Moguls find themselves at 17th. Monday Monday is picked to finish second in District 5 2A play behind the Wellington Skyrockets. The Moguls return seven total starters from their region semifinal team last year. Memphis and Wheeler round out the playoff teams in the District. Quana and Shamrock are slated to miss the postseason. Now District 6 2A features the Ranger Bulldogs who have been projected to finish last in their district and miss the postseason. Winthor, Santo, Electra and Archer City are the playoff teams from that district. Moving on to District 7 2A and they're stacked with seven big country teams. Now after making it to the Region Finals in 2017, the Albany Lions, led by preseason offensive MVP running back Cutter Edgar, are expected to come in at the top of the district. Ryan Hill moves from receiver to quarterback, replacing our BCH Sports Player of the Year, Brian Hamilton. The Hamlin Pied Pipers, Roscoe Plowboys, and Cross Plains Buffaloes are all expected to make the playoffs. The Haskell Indians and Baird Bears are projected to miss the playoffs. The Roby Lions were supposed to be in that district, but they will not be playing varsity football this season due to a lack of players. Now it's going to be a fun year year as you can tell in class 2a here's a look at one of the players to watch this season Delion's Kevin Yeager is one of the reasons the Bearcats senior is an incarnate word commit and he's been putting up silly numbers he threw for over 3,000 yards in 2017 with 43 touchdown passes the best may be coming now that's good news for Delion fans for sure one more set of highlights for you tonight in case you have not gotten tired of hearing my voice by now Thursday night was filled with scrimmages for the lower classifications in the big country we went over to Anson where the Tigers hosted Albany in their final tune-up Anson on the offensive first Drew Hagler keeps it runs into a little bit of trouble here but watch this he bounces off and turns on the wheels for the very first touchdown of the scrimmage a little while later, it's going to be Hagler again. The do-it-all man tucks it in and finds a nice hole for another touchdown. The Tigers are on a roll in the first half of this scrimmage. Albany's ball now. Brian Jones is going to roll out right here in just a second. He throws a dart to Cameron Dacus, who makes the toe tap and sideline snag for a first down. The Lions open at 2018 next week at home against Colorado City, and Anson travels to Hamlet. The six man world is expanding every year in the big country. This year, 10 area schools are mentioned in the top 25. We start with Division 1. The May Tigers are expected to continue to win this year as they 
They are ranked 6 by sixmanfootball.com. Knox City and Zephyr are 13 and 14. Ira is 21st and Hermley is 25th. On to Class A Division 2. Throckmorton is the highest ranked number 9. Looters of Oka and Moran are 16 and 17. Panther Creek and Lorraine round out the top 20 at 19 and 20. So I hope you are ready for the start of 2018 high school football season. We're going to be here every single Friday night on Friday Night Live for the next 13 weeks to show you the highlights, the scores, and the reaction to the action every single week. Thank you for watching. We will see you next Friday for week one right here on Friday Night Live. KRBC Friday Night Live was brought to you by